Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here, friends. Today I'm going to talk to you about Illumina. Um, the share price is flirting with sub-$100. Uh, the chart looks a little bit iffy at this point of time. So I just want to summarize what happened with um, Illumina and ask you a question. Whether you are a short-term investor or a long-term investor, what are your thoughts? And I'm going to share my thoughts as well. Let's get started. Welcome back friends, Illumina is a pioneer in uh, genomic sequencing and has had a remarkable journey marked by significant achievements, leadership changes and uh, notable market fluctuations. Let's dive into the narrative of Illumina's rise, challenges and the question it raises for investors today. Building on a genomics giant under the leadership of Jay Flatley, who served as CEO from 1999 to 2016, Illumina experienced unprecedented growth. Flatley's tenure was characterized by several, several key accomplishments. One was revenue growth from 500,000 to a staggering 2.2 billion. The second was technological advancement where Flatley oversaw the dramatic reduction in the cost of sequencing a human genome from $100 million in 2001 to less than $1,000, revolutionizing the field of uh, genomics. And all this he achieved by 2016. Illumina's workforce expanded from 30 to 4,800 employees, establishing the company as a major player in the biotech industry. And Flatley's strategic vision and execution positioned Illumina as a leader in DNA sequencing, paving the way for its future endeavors, like putting a very firm foundation. Peaks and valleys in 2016 were very um, moderated. I don't think it was too much, but uh, Flatley probably made the biggest mistake of his career by selecting Francis D'Souza to take over as CEO. Francis D'Souza was an executive with a strong background from Intel. D'Souza was expected to continue Illumina's trajectory of success. Initially, his tenure seemed promising. Under D'Souza, Illumina's stock soared, reaching an all-time high of $556 on the 1st of February 2021. The innovation continued. D'Souza maintained the con uh, company's focus on innovation. Um, he furthered the use of DNA sequencing in medicine. However, the acquisition of Grail, a company specializing in early cancer detection, marked a turning point. And this was, um, in my opinion, this was really a crazy story because initially uh, Illumina itself had promoted Grail. And then they decided to acquire it. And the $8 billion acquisition faced significant regulatory challenges in both Europe and the US, leading to a series of setbacks. And the way the agreement of takeover was uh, drafted also leads to a lot of questions about why uh, Illumina would draft uh, such a, a takeover agreement, which is totally in favor of Grail uh, and puts Illumina in a very uh, disadvantageous position. And the acquisition drew intense uh, scrutiny from regulators, leading to conflicts and delays. And these challenges, coupled with operational issues, led to a decline in investor confidence. As a result, Illumina's share price, uh, price plummeted, testing the dollar hundred level and potentially dropping below it. The present is a critical juncture. Today, Illumina stands at a very critical juncture, in my opinion. The new CEO, Jacob Thaisen, is at the helm of the company after Jay Flatley uh, handed over the reins to Francis D'Souza. Even though it took, uh, he took the company to heights, he also oversaw a rapid decline with a lot of board in, uh, fighting and a uh, lot of uh, negative publicity coming both from the European Competition Commission as well as the FTC. And at the time, uh, CEO Jacob Thaisen uh, took over um, uh, still, um, uh, we had um, uh, Carl Icahn uh, on the helm uh, of um, uh, activist investors' role, and uh, he was uh, very unhappy with the way uh, Illumina and its board was functioning. Uh, Jacob Thaisen managed to get the endorsement of um, uh, Carl Icahn, and uh, he has laid out the 2024 priorities for the company's, uh, company, which is to focus on increasing revenue, improving operational efficiency and continuing its innovation streak. And um, uh, this included increasing placements of NOAA-SEC, X-System and enhancing sequencing activity through partnerships. 
and uh, significant cost cutting measures also followed including reducing annual expenses by over 175 million dollars despite these effect, uh, efforts the market remains skeptical the share price today is hovering around the dollar 100 mark and poses important question for investors whether you are a long term investor or a short term investor uh, you cannot uh, afford to avoid illumina and at the same time you need to be clear about what to expect from illumina in terms of long term prospects i think illumina with its foundational strength in genomic sequencing is a good uh, purchase at the at this lower price maybe it could go below by another 10 dollars to make it really attractive for those who are willing to hold it for a long term and as far as short term investors uh, the question would be are there viable opportunities given the current volatility and regulatory changes so i don't know uh, what do you guys think about Illumina? Illumina's journey reflects the dynamic nature of the biotech industry, marked by both innovation, leadership changes, and market fluctuation. And as the company navigates through its current challenges, the decision to invest in Illumina depends on your perspective as an investor. Are you willing to invest in Illumina for its long-term potential, believing in its pioneering role in genomics despite recent setbacks? Or do you see more attractive opportunities in other sectors for short-term gains? Your insights and decisions will shape the next chapter in Illumina's story history. What's your take on Illumina as an investment? Please put it in the comment section below and uh, let me know what is the purchasing price at which you would be interested in getting into Illumina, whether as a short term or as a long term investment. Give me your thesis. Let us see whether we can do something with Illumina at these price points. With that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. Thanks for listening and watching to this point. Have a great day. Bye for now.